I'm Jennifer Bowman from Olympia Piano, and that was my original arrangement of the theme from Bach's Brandenburg Concerto No. 5. I played it in two different keys. I actually arranged it in two different keys. One was the original key, D major, and then I also arranged it in the key of C. So if you're just starting out in the music of Bach and wanting to learn all the stylistic elements, it might be a little easier to not have to worry about the extra F sharp and C sharp in the key signature. So I'd like to just offer you three tips that might make it easier to learn this piece. The first tip, and I will do this in the key of D, by the way, is that most of the piece takes place in D position. So D F sharp A inversions of D position or D scales. So you really want to be familiar with your D scale notes and D chords notes in this piece. So for example, in line one, we have blocking D chords here and then a D broken chord here in the right hand. And then D scale, left hand moves up and so forth. So we have all these scale snippets throughout the piece. The scale near the end, the last line can be just a little bit tricky with the switching of those notes, but crossing into D position, and then, so all D scale notes. So tip number two is to play the music in this style is you wanna play the quarter notes detached. So that is very typical of Baroque style. Baroque is the period in which J.S. Bach lived. So it makes it more dance-like. So if, for example, in measure two, I played both hands legato, beautiful, but if I bounce my left hand and play my right hand smooth, it makes the music more uplifted. So whenever possible, try to make those left hand notes detached. I'm not talking about the first note of a two note slur though. So that's my next point, or my third point. Probably the trickiest part in this piece are these two note slurs. So I'm talking about measures five through measure eight, and then again, 10 and 11. So what we wanna be looking for is how the hands are switching, if there's any big stretches. Um, so we've got D position in the right hand here, D scale, but with different fingering going down because we have to get all the way to C sharp. So if we cross under three, then we run out of fingers for the next note. So cross under four there, but we've got down, up, down, up, left hand comes under, now right hand stretching up. Now here's a big stretch for the right hand, but if you look where your thumb is, your fourth finger is going to go a half step lower than that. And then thumb slides down. Again, right hand grabs down. Grab down to A here. And then in a similar fashion, measures 11, same sort of thing. Crossing under four. Right hand. different the first time we had a six but this time we're going to have a diminished fifth thumb's going to scoot up we'll feel more squished and then hop up so if you spend a bit of time working out the fingering and the jumps in those measures five through eight and eleven and twelve makes it really fun to play so thank you for watching this short video on the theme from Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 5. If you'd like to download it, it's available at my website, www.jenniferbowmanmusic.com. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this or also videos on piano technique and other piano literature. And again, I thank you for watching.